a very good afternoon to the students of class 7 students today we are going to continue with the chapter framing equation and its solution we are going to do let's work out 22.3 page 263 open your maths book everybody to the mention page we are going to do let's work out 22.3 here we will have to solve the given equations here it is said 2x by 3 equals to 3x by 8 plus 7 by 12 so i have told you in the last class that for solving the equation the first step what we do is we are going to separately write the constants and the variables so whenever a number is also at attached with a variable it is in multiplication or division relation then then that particular term also becomes a variable so here we are going to treat the variables as 2x by 3 and 3x by 8 so now we are going to segregating or separating the variables together like this plus 3x by 8 we are taking it on the other side and becoming it is becoming minus 3x by 8 which is equals to 7 by 12 after that we are taking the LCM of 3 and 8 which is equals to 24 then 3 8 are 24 2x into 8 means 16x after that 8 into 3 is 24 3x into 3 means 9x which is equals to 7 by 12 then in the next step this 16x minus 9x i am doing 16x minus 9x means 7x 7x by 24 is equals to 7 by 12 now this 24 is there in the denominator if i cross multiply and take it in the numerator then what will happen this will get multiply right so now 24 is getting cancelled with, with 12 and we are getting to 12 2 is the 24 now this 7 and 2 i am multiplying and getting 14 now 7x is equals to 14 we need to solve for x that means we need to find the value of x so x is equals to 14 by 7 why because this 7 will go down in the denominator so 14 by 7 that is equals to 2 right so the answer of x is so the value of x is 2 next one same process here what we will do we will simply take out the lcm of at first what we will do is we are going to rearrange the terms a bit before taking out the LCM this one is kept over here now with this is kept over here and this one has changed its side okay this one has changed it its side and become minus and after that this plus this the term which was present in minus this changed its sign side and had become plus okay this you can directly do uh, this I have done for the convenience of our calculation otherwise even if you keep the sides if, even if you keep the terms same as it is and work it out it will you will get the same value okay the result will come same there will be no difference in the value of x because here all, all the terms are associated with the variables as you can see in the plus one also uh, in the first one also x is present in the second one also x is present third one also x is present fourth one also x is present so that means all our variables over here but you need to find out the lcm so lcm here 7 and 10 lcm is 70 now here 7 into 10 means 70 now with this 10 i am multiplying the whole numerator now in the denominator 10 into 7 means 70 with the numerator I am multiplying the whole denominator whole numerator with the with this 7 I am multiplying the whole numerator the numerator is 1 minus 3x so 7 into 1 minus 3x now come to the this is the con, uh, part of LHS now we are going to work out the part of RHS now RHS part 8 and 16 is present in the denominator so the LCM will be 16 itself now 8 into 2 means 16 so 2 into this whole numerator just like how we do the fractional addition and subtraction the process is going to remain the same now 16 ones are 16 now 1 into 3x plus 1 means 
Now, minus is present before it. Now, in the next step, you will understand the calculation. See here, 10 into 2x means 20x, 10 into minus 3 means minus 30, 7 into 1 means 7 into 1 means 7, the 7 into minus 3x means minus 21x by 70, which is equals to 2 into x means 2x, 2 into 3 means 6, now minus 1 into 3x means minus 3x, now minus 1 into minus, minus 1 into plus 1 means minus 1, just we are multiplying and opening the brackets, now in the denominator you have 16, after that in the next step in the left hand side we are going to do the calculations like 20x minus 21x, now separately adding the constants and the variables 20x minus 21x that means minus x I hope you know these things that 20x minus 21x how you will get because you know the 20 minus 21 means minus 1 so actually this means minus 1x or rather only minus x same thing so minus x minus 23 how minus 23 because minus 30 plus 70 minus 30 plus 70 will give you minus 23 ok now RHS the 16 will remain as it is in the denominator now you have 2x minus 3x which is equals to minus x now 6 minus 1 which means 5 6 minus 1 means 5 next you are going to cross multiply cross multiply means with this 16 you are going to multiply this whole term present on top and this 70 you are going to multiply this whole thing this is called crisscross method or cross multiplication method ok see cross multiplication by cross multiplying we are getting this now again you need to multiply the term with the terms present in the bracket now 70 into minus x means minus 70 x and 70 into plus 5 means plus 350 16 into minus x means minus 16 x 16 into minus 23 means minus 368 next what you will do now it is time to separate the constants and the variables together now minus 70 x this on top and this minus 16x is going to change its side that is why it has become plus 16x now the constants now minus 368 is already over here and plus 350 I am taking it on the right hand side and we will get minus 350 so minus 368 minus 350 we are going to add these two now see this addition has been done over here we are going to add keeping the minus sign because both are having minus sign and minus into minus means plus so minus 70x plus 16x which means minus is going to say remain over here because the greater number is the greater term is minus 70 so keeping the sign of the negative sign we are keeping the sign of the bigger number and we are going to subtract that means minus into plus gives minus that is why 70 minus 16 means 54 and keeping the minus sign. So minus 54 x equals to minus 718. So x will be equals to this will go down in the denominator minus 54 after cancellation we are getting 13 8 by 27. So this is the value of x. Now let us come to the next sum. It is given 2t minus 3 is equals to 3 by 10 into 5t minus 2. Here the variable is t. t is the variable present over here. That means we need to calculate the value of t. So here also what we will do directly we are going to cross multiply. This 10 is there in the denominator. So with this 10 we are going to multiply the whole thing present on top in the left hand side so 10 into 2t minus 3 is equals to 3 into 5t minus 2 now with 10 you multiply 2t you will get 20t 10 with minus 3 means minus 30 3 into 5t means 15t 
3 into minus 2 means minus 6. Now it is time to separately write the constants and the variables together. See 20t minus 15t. Why minus? Because this was plus in the right hand side when it when it is changing its side it is also changing its sign this is going to go in this side we will get minus 15 t now we have minus 6 is already over here this plus 30 will change its side and we will get plus 30 minus 30 change its side and we will get plus 30 now 20 t minus 15 t means 5 t and 30 minus 6 means 24 so t will be equals to t will be equals to 24 by 30 this 20 this 5 will go down in the denominator in division form so 24 by 5 when i convert it into mixed fraction i will get 4 4 by 5 so this is the answer of t this is the value of t next one also same way we are simply cross multiplying here the variable is x so we need to calculate the value of x so cross multiply 2 with this one whole numerator 3 with the whole numerator on the right hand side so 2 into x plus b equals to 3 into cx plus d so multiply 2 into x means 2x 2 into b means 2b here 3 into cx means 3cx 3 into d means 3d now write the x terms together because here the variable is x whose value we are calculating so that means 2x minus 3cx equals to 3d minus 2b. This is going to change its side and also change its sign. So 3d minus 2b. We cannot subtract this because these are unlike terms. We cannot subtract. That is why now on the left hand side what we are doing from both the terms we are taking x common. We are taking x common. This thing we have studied in factorization chapter. Taking x common. From here we have 2a and from here we have 3c. These are the uncommon terms left inside the bracket is equals to 3d minus 2b. Now for finding out the value of x, x will be equals to 3d minus 2b by 2a minus 3c. This will go down. This whole thing is going to go down. So this is the value of x which, which you are getting in terms of a, b, c and d. Now come to the next sum. Here also the terms are given in decimal fraction but the process is going to remain the same. At first you are going to separately write the variables. See here the variables are 2x means the variable which whose value which we are calculating that is x but we need to write the variable terms together that means 2x plus 0.6x and this plus 0.4x is going to go on the other side and it is becoming minus 0.4x in the next step and this minus 6.6 .6, this is a constant it is going in the right hand side and it is becoming plus 6.6 .6 in the next step now 2x plus 0.6x from minus 0.4x from these three terms you can take x common and inside the bracket see 2 over here 0 0.6 over here and minus 0. Point, minus 0 0.4 over here the uncommon parts inside the bracket that is equals to 6.6 .6. so now inside calculation has been done and we have got 2.2 so x into 2.2 equals to 6.6 6.6 so x will be 6.6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 .6 so this 2.2 will go down in the denominator x will be equals to 6.6 .6 by 2.2 now after that you can directly omit the decimal points and calculate 66 by 22 22 3 are 66 so we are getting 3 as the answer value of x is 3 next one same way the variables has been written together constants together after that LCM has been taken, LCM of 10 and 3 that is 30, 10 3s are 30, so 5 3s are 15x, then 3 10s are 30, 10 into x means 10x that is equals to 7.25, 5 
after the denominator 30 then 15x plus 10x that means 25x that is equals to 7.25 now this 25x equals to this 30 will get cross multiply just take it in the numerator and changing its side so 2.75 into 30 which means 217.50 for fi finding the value of x what we do 217.50 by 25 why because 25 x equals to 217.50 so x will be equals to 217.50 by 25 and after that calculations has been done this decimal number you can convert it into normal fraction decimal fraction you can convert it into normal fraction by dividing with 100 like 217.50 if you convert it into normal fraction that what then what you will get 21750 by 100 see that is what has been done and after that you cancel it out and after cancellation you are getting 8.7 so the answer of the value of x is 8.7 the same process it has been done the next sum here you are multiplying this 0 0.18 into 5x you are getting 0 0.90x 0 0.18 into minus 4 minus 0 0.72 after that this part is remaining same then you separate out the constants and the variables now 0 0.9x equals to 0 0.9x minus this is changing its side minus 0 0.5x equals to this constant term is going on the right hand side and getting added with this constant 0 0.8 now 0 0.8 plus 0 0.72 we are getting 1.52 so 0 0.4x equals to 1.52 x will be equals to 1.52 by 0 0.4 this 0 0.4 is going to go down in the denominator after that we are getting the value of x as 3.8 okay children so two sums has been given question number one part 12 and 13 you are going to work out yourself and question number 2 has been omitted so just cross it out with pen, with the help of pencil in your book itself all right children so thank you for today